just zooming in on his own. Learning how to YouTube over here. Okay. Hi guys, I'm Julia. Welcome back to my channel. If you don't know who I am, I'm a freediver, interior designer, and property manager who lives in Sydney, Australia. I'm American Filipina, and I'm currently 34 weeks pregnant in my third trimester. The reason I wanted to share what I use on my skin is because it's really helped me through um, my pregnancy in like with itchy skin and preventing stretch marks. So I have zero stretch marks at the moment and it's because of all the moisturizing I've been doing and the products I've used. So right now Sydney is actually on lockdown. I think it's been like three weeks now. So before lockdown I was actually going to a lot of prenatal workout classes which were keeping me like active and moving and like really helped with the pain around like my thighs and my um, hip flexor and stuff but now that I can't go to those I just stay at home and I do some home workouts. The main thing I wanted to talk to you about in this video was skincare. When you first get pregnant you have to research what kind of products are pregnancy safe because there are some ingredients that you can't use on your body. There are three things to avoid in your skincare products during pregnancy, and that's retinoids, salicylic acid, and avoid products that say anti-wrinkles, anti-aging, anti-acne, and lightening. The reason you avoid these items is because there's a potential risk for birth defects and pregnancy risks. So from my research, I found a bunch of items that I like, and that worked really well with me throughout my pregnancy. When I first got pregnant, I didn't know anything about pregnancy. I didn't know what to do. So of course, the first thing you do is you contact one of your best friends or your sister or your mother, and you say, hey, I'm pregnant, what do I do next? And um, my friend Izzy in the Philippines, um, she has two kids. And I went straight to her and I asked her, okay, what do I do? And she's like, get belly butter because it'll help you prevent stretch marks. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about that. So I started researching on the best um, belly butter to put on my belly. And um, from my research and all the reviews that I saw online, the Burt's Bees Mama Belly Butter was the best option. Um, I think the reason was because people were saying it was so smooth and it really keeps your skin moisturized for so long. Um, I have been using this since like week two, since I found out, which is, I really don't think you need to start at week two because you don't actually start growing until like week eight or week 10, depending on who you are. So I started using this on week two on my boobs, my belly and my thighs because my boobs were actually growing really fast in trimester one. Um, so I thought that helped a lot and I have zero stretch marks and I'm almost 35 weeks pregnant now. So I shower and immediately I moisturize right after so my skin doesn't get dry at all. And Australia has really dry air compared to the Philippines where I'm from, which has a lot of humidity. So I put this all over my boobs and I go up over here and like near the armpits because you never know where your skin like kind of stretches and then um, around the belly and to the sides and even to the back because your skin is like kind of stretching forward so you don't know where it's like really pulling so i like to just lather on as much as i can in the front area of the sides and like a little bit of the back and then of course the thighs as well because you don't know where you're really going to get stretch marks and like i do that every morning and when i feel like my skin's a little more dry at night I'll put on another um, coat uh, before I go to bed. Honestly, I'm really lazy and I haven't been doing it twice a day, which they say it's better to do twice a day, but I've been doing it once and it's been working for me. I haven't had any stretch marks yet, so that's uh, good news. After I lather on the belly butter, I put lotion on the rest of my body. So I use the Palmer's Coconut Oil Body Lotion. And this one smells so good and it's also quite thick so it's easy to kind of like absorb into your skin. So this one I put it on my legs and then I put it on my arms and around my neck. I really love this one. I've been using it for like two months now and it's my favorite. 
Ooh, I always get out of breath. <laughs> your third trimester, it's like you always have to catch your breath because there's not a lot of space for your lungs. And I'm a free diver, so it's really tough for me to feel like I can't breathe and take deep breaths. For my face, I, after I get out of the shower, usually I have like excess mascara on um, that's probably like ran for the shower. So I use the Pink Garnier um, Micellar Cleansing Water, and this one is pregnancy safe as well. And just the cotton pad and rub it all off. And then if you want a toner, I searched for a pregnancy safe toner and the Dickinson's Enhanced Witch Hazel Hydrating Toner. That one's pregnancy safe. Good to use it once or twice a day with cotton pads after you cleanse your face. But honestly, I didn't ever feel the need to use this during my pregnancy. I was using toner before pregnancy. My pores were getting larger and so it was really tightening my pores and it made my face like really glow, but I didn't really need this during pregnancy. But it's a good option. This is the Neutrogena Oil-Free Moisturizer. My favorite moisturizer, which is so funny because it's a drugstore moisturizer and I've used like thousands of moisturizers that are very expensive, nice brands and everything like that. And all of them never really worked for me as well as this one did. And the great part is that it has SPF 15. So you're also protected from the exposure of the sun during the day, which is just like a good feeling to know that you're protected, especially during pregnancy because your skin is more sensitive to the sun. And well, for me, I can't tan at all while I'm pregnant. Um, not because, not by choice, but because I just, my skin's not doing it. Like for some reason, I'm just not getting darker. And it, that to me is very funny because I'm half Asian and I'm very like, I easily tan under the sun. And for my first trimester, it was summer here in Australia and I was laying under the sun in 30 minutes and I was just white as a ghost and my skin would not get darker. Not that I was trying too hard because I wanted to protect my skin, but yeah, I noticed that I just started getting whiter and whiter and whiter through summer and through my pregnancy and I just gave up and I'm just embracing my half white girl skin. <laughs> And I put this on every morning after I put the belly butter and um, sometimes at night as well uh, after I wash my face or cleanse my face. And for an eye cream, I chose the Aaliyah Skin Pink Pearl. It's a really cute pink bottle. I really love their products and um, yeah, it just uh, makes my, when I feel puffy and like kind of like drained a bit, it really kind of rejuvenates my eyes. Um, after. I don't use it that often, just on days that I feel like puffy. And then in the shower, what I use on my body, because I don't want to use any like really harsh chemicals or any harsh products um, during pregnancy, I use the Cetaphil Ultra Gentle Body Wash. And this one is great for sensitive and dry skin. And I really love it, like it smells good and it's like very gentle on my skin. And then what I use on my face in the shower is the Cetaphil Gentle Skin Cleanser Face and Body. Cetaphil is an awesome brand because it's so gentle. So I'm going to even try to use the Cetaphil Baby Body Wash and Shampoo once I give birth because it was one of the recommended brands to use on your baby when you're showering them. And then the last thing is well, I wasn't really going to talk about hair, but might as well. I use the Bondi Boost Shampoo and Conditioner, and it's incredible. I've been using it for like two years. And it doesn't um, strip your hair from all of its oils. It still feels very fresh after you shower. And yeah, that's all of my skincare products. It's uh, quite simple. It's nothing fancy. And it works very well for me. And I hope it works for you too. Okay, I wanted to show you like an up-close view of my skin so you can see it and i'm not wearing any foundation here i've only just put like a little eye makeup and lipstick but if you can see i have a few like darker freckles here that came with my pregnancy um these got a little darker too and some over there but you can see like it's so smooth it's been doing so well with my skincare 
and um, I'm very happy with all of the products that I found. And yeah, just let me know if you do get to try it out, if it works for you or if it doesn't, and good luck. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and I'll be talking a lot more about daily life tips and my third trimester pregnancy and probably, probably after giving birth as well. Okay, let's say bye. Luna, come here, baby girl. This is my puppy, Luna. <laughs> She's the sweetest Siberian Husky in the world. I brought her over from the Philippines. My sweet little wolfie. Who's a good girl, hmm? Do you wanna go for a walk? Do you wanna go for a walk? <laughs>